and they're saying you and Apatai is like a 50-50 fight. Um, I don't know if it's 50-50, I think I had it. But if it's 50-50, I think I had it. Bullshit! Bullshit! Bullshit, 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 bullshit! I don't know if it's 50-50, I think I had it. Best chance to beat uh, everyone in this division. Yeah. It's the second time that, that we beat uh, the, the two champions yeah. already in this division. I'm not the best cruiser way in this division. You heard what Zerto had to say. Not only do I love it, I agree. What? Move over, J. Alpataya. Now, before you get your little panties in a bunch, let me explain. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. You see what happened when Zerto beat CBS. You know, or Gilberto Ramirez beat Chris William Smith. You know, he's to become the first unified champion at Cruiserweight division out of the four champions that we currently have between Noel McKaylin, Jal Pattaya, Gilberto Ramirez, and Chris William Smith. You know, so Gilberto Ramirez, Zerto has a leg up on the rest of the champions in my opinion and you know by the numbers game and by the statistics you feel me so you know shout out to Gilberto Ramirez I also said before this fight that this fight was to determine who is the best in the cruiserweight division right now and when I say best I'm talking about the highest ranked not the person who would win in the 1v1 in every matchup head to head because when you consider the best you have to consider the accomplishments the accolades the ability and skill which is reflected on who wins one to one one v one and also the people that you beat to get to your position that you're at that's a fact ain't it ain't it I didn't. So of course, who I think will win in the cruiserweight division, man, that's a good conversation. And me personally, I think Jay Pattaya would beat the other champions. However, just because I think that that's the beauty in boxing, right? And beauty of sports and competition. You have to prove it on the field, on the court, or in boxing, in the ring. So to me, when we have to grade these uh, 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 great fighters, you know, we have to rank them. And by ranking system, other things are contributed other things are factored in and calculated that contribute to your position. Yeah. And for me, having two pieces of hardware out of the four, you know, half, 50%, to me, that's a very, very great accomplishment. And that's what Zerto has. So to me, Zerto is a number one cruiser rate right now as far as ranking. And I'm going to tell you why. Because Gilberto Ramirez, you know, like I said, he beat uh, Chris Billion Smith most recently. But before that, he beat Arsene Goulamarian who was an undefeated champion, you know? That's how Gilberto Ramirez acquired his first championship, then went on to beat Chris William Smith, who was not undefeated, but he only had one loss prior to, and that was to Richard Riacopori, and he beat him after he lost to him, so he avenged that loss, and a lot of people will say, hey man, that's better than being undefeated, hold on. <laughs> I think that's just a coping mechanism. It's not better than being undefeated. As long as while you're undefeated, you've been fighting capable and strong and formidable fighters. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if you do avenge your loss or your loss is, then I think that's the next best thing to being undefeated. So, and that's what Chris Billion Smith did. So some will consider that B Zerto essentially beat two undefeated guys. Like I said, I disagree, but you know, I can see how you get there. Now let's talk about what my guy, Jay Pattaya, the man from Down Under. Let's see what he has in his favor because he definitely has a lot in his favor, right? Currently, the most biggest thing to me, you know, the most biggest thing, you know, the biggest thing that he has, the most contributing factor to his position and his consideration to being the best is the fact that what? He is the Ring Magazine Cruiserweight Champion. So he has that for him, right? And you know, they have their own ranking methods and their methodology and grading criteria and rubric that they use to score these things and rate these things, you know? And he also did beat Marish Bradis. And why is that important? Because Marish Bradis, you know, when when Jabataya beat him, he became the lineal champion because he beat the guy and Marish Bradis who beat the guy, you know? And I think that's very important as well when you consider these rankings, you know? And, and let me give you another example, like Arthur Biterbia, right? He was considered by 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 a, a huge populace you know that he was considered the the best light heavyweight when it was him and bivol before they had the unification obviously he's number one right now because he won the light heavyweight undisputed uh championship against bivol but they're both undefeated <clears throat> excuse me but they were both undefeated prior to and Arthur Beterbiev beat Alexander Vazic, who was the lineal champion, because he beat the guy who was the guy in Adonis Stevenson, you know what I'm saying, Superman Stevenson, the great Haitian-born Canadian fighter, you know, dude was a beast, right? So now we have uh, Beterbiev beating him, and not only was he the lineal champion, 
he was also the champion who had more hardware. He had the higher quantity of belts when compared to Bivol's only one, you know? So that's why he was widely considered the best over Bivol, you know, before they had their head-to-head -head clash to, de to determine who was undisputed. Now, the thing with Jao Pattaya, he doesn't have the majority of the hardware, but he does have the lineal champion. And a lot of times, the lineal champion is directly, a, you know, directly related to who gets the ring magazine belt, you know? So, Maris Bradish is a good fighter too, right? Maris Bradish only lost to the man, the myth, the legend, and Alexander Vazic prior, prior to losing to, um, prior to losing to Jao Pattaya. So, he only had one loss, and there's no shame in losing to Alexander Alexander Vazdek, right? You know, he's top three pound for pound, whether it's him, Terrence Bud Crawford, now you anyway, those three are interchangeable. They're both phenomenal, great, legendary fighters, all time greats, you know what I'm saying? Being undisputed in two different divisions. Uh, um, so him beating Marriage Bradis is a hell of an accomplishment. In fact, Marriage Bradis only has three losses, one to Alexander Vazdek and two to Jabataya. You dumbass. However, you know, Gilberto Ramirez, to me, even though he beat Marriage Bradis, he wasn't Marriage Bradis' first loss, right? But, you know, Gilberto Ramirez was Arsene Goulamarian's first loss. And, you know, Maris Bradis he only had one loss. Chris Billion Smith only had one loss too, right? But Chris Billion Smith, he avenged that loss, right? Remember, we were talking about being as close as you can to undefeated by avenging your loss. Maris Bradis never avenged his loss to uh, Alexander Vazdik. Sorry. Alexander Usyk, excuse me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I, in my personal opinion, when you consider all these factors and you consider the fact that Gilberto Ramirez, Zerdo is the first to have two of the belts, the first to unify, then I think when you're ranking these guys, that he is the best. Now, I will say this though, who wins between Jabataya and Noel McKaylin? I'm going with Jabataya, but I also think Zerdo beats Noel McKaylin too. Now this is the troublesome part, right? When you talk about Jao Pataya versus Gilberto Ramirez, who wins? I disagree with uh, Gilberto Ramirez. I do think it's a 50-50 fight. I don't know if it's 50-50. I think I had a bad chance to beat uh, everyone in this division. But if I had to pick one, I would lean towards Jao Pataya. I do think that he's a better fighter stylistically. I like that matchup in favor of him. However, when you talk about who's the best, right? It's more than just who you think will win because at the end of the day, no matter if I think Zerto beats Jao Pataya or Jao Pataya beats Zerto, you still have to see it. So there's no way to tell definitively who's the best. You know what I'm saying? So there's still a question mark there, but what's not a question mark? Who has more hardware? There's no question in that. That's Gilberto Ramirez, the unified champion of the Cruiserweight division. So in my opinion, from where I'm sitting, I agree with Zerto. Right now, today as it sits, Zerto is the best Cruiserweight. I'm not the best Cruiserweight in this division. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. Do you disagree with me? Do you think that Ring Magazine tr trumps everything, that Ring Magazine title? Do you think Jabataya is still... It's still the best or whatever, however you want to call it, man. Hey, there's no shame. Hey, think what you think, man. That's why we love boxing because I hope that this means that they will fight in the imminent future. But we'll see because Jao Bataya, you know, he has an IBF title and the IBF don't play. They're calling for him to fight his mandatory. So we'll see how it goes. And his mandatory is Michael Eford, a relatively unknown uh, uh, fighter. You know? Excuse me? My bad. Michael Eford is the IBF mandatory for Artur Beterbiev's IBF title in the light heavyweight division. You know, the IBF mandatory for Jabataya is Hussein Sankara. My bad, you know, but still the same applies. You know, he's relatively unknown when it comes to the boxing masses as far as reputation goes and stuff like that and notoriety. So, you know, it still will be an underwhelming mandatory title that was called by the IBF but I'm not knocking it though because shout out to the IBF the sanctioned body that they don't play no games yeah. so we'll see how that goes man y'all let me know what y'all think about that in comments um don't forget to hit that like button for your boy smack it before I smack you me and Zerto gonna come to your crib you know what I'm saying I'm just playing but most importantly even even more importantly than hitting that like button remember with God we can do anything without God we're nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.